my name is Jada Landau, and you are? I am Gregory Weyer. I'm running for judge in the Court of Common Pleas in Philadelphia. And welcome to Close the Creek. Thank you. So, who are you? Um, yeah, I'm, uh, my name, again, my name is Greg. I am a criminal defense attorney here in Philadelphia. I went to Temple Law School, and I've been doing criminal defense work here in Philadelphia ever since. Um, my wife's a social worker, and we have a foster kid, Jasmine. Why do you want to be a judge? Uh, I've been doing criminal defense work in Philadelphia for a number of years, and you become really familiar with, with some of the problems inherent in the criminal justice system. And I think as you know, any criminal defense attorney who, who really cares about their clients, after a while, you want to be able to do more and, and help more people. And for me, being a judge was like the next logical step. Um, but it really wasn't until I became a foster parent that I, I actually took the steps necessary to start the process of trying to become a judge. Uh, from what I saw in the family courts, in the, the, the court system really struggles to make good, well-informed decisions that are truly most beneficial to some of the kids and the families that are in that court system. And I felt like I have something to offer that's unique and I want to try to help. And I think the best way for me to do that would be as a judge. What are your values on youth and children? My values? Yes. Um, yeah, I think the, uh, you know, as a foster dad, um, you know, I, I've seen you know, the role that the courts can really play to any kids that uh, unfortunately end up in the court system. Like, no one goes to court when they're having a good day, right? Especially <laughs> kids. Yeah. So that means something happened that, that's wrong and they need help and they need the assistance of the courts to make sure that whatever problem is there, that the kids get the help they need to get through that problem, but also get the tools that they're going to need to succeed as they age into, adult, uh, excuse me, age into adulthood. Um, and that also includes helping out their parents sometimes to make sure that the parents have the tools that they need to be better parents and to get their kids back and, and to really help the whole, the whole family. So I think in short my values would be that when, especially as it relates to the court system, um, the, the doing what we can to really to provide the most help and not to provide, not to further traumatize kids that are in the court system because again, they're not there for happy reasons usually. So uh, let's help them as much as we can. What is your restorative justice to you? Restorative justice to me, um, if we look at what restorative justice, you know, where it started as an idea, it was there's some parts of New York that uh, they're bringing together victims and they're bringing together defendants and uh, people who are accused of, of crimes and working to, instead of going the normal route of incarceration uh, and, and punishment, to really try to again, bring some wholeness and restoration to whatever the situation is. As I said, no one goes to court when they're having a good day. Uh, so I think in Philadelphia, while we might not be ready to, to do that yet, I hope one day we start doing programs like that in Philadelphia. Um, for me, it's as you know, the court system works, uh, the court system works best when it, when it takes brokenness, when it takes a problem, and it does something that really brings healing and wholeness to everyone involved. Uh, and that's both, both the defendants uh, who, who may need certain things to be able to live better lives, but also for the victims. If something happened that they're going to need to be held by the courts uh, to make sure that they're heard and they're, they're, you know, what happened to them doesn't happen again, but that everyone can walk away from the court process saying, you know what, it wasn't a good day that brought me here, but you know, the courts made it better. And, and brought some level of closure and healing so that going forward everyone can be in a better place. Again, uh, last thoughts for me is I think as uh, a judicial candidate it's important to note that um, you, you don't run for a certain kind of court. So I can't promise someone that if I'm elected I'll be in family court uh, where I would be able to use my experience as a foster dad. I can't promise that someone I'd be in the criminal courts where I'd be able to use my experience as a criminal defense attorney but you're assigned. But I think for me, it's the combination of my experiences in criminal defense and you know, my identity as a foster dad that have combined to give me something very unique uh, and powerful that I want to bring with me to the courts. Uh, and that really starts with being able to recognize that the, the dignity and rights of all people and seeking, as you said, the restorative justice in every outcome in my case, in, in, in sorry, every case that would be um, 
in, in my courtroom so that the outcomes are fair and just for everybody involved. So I am the last person on the ballot, so I'll be easy to find. So on election day, I'd appreciate all the support I can get. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay.